Flare is a common problem in landscape shots and if you're shooting directly into the sun or if the sun is just to the side of the lens you can get flare that essentially ruins your images and this shot here the flare wasn't obvious when it was being taken but there's enough here and there to cause a problem. And the easiest way to remove flare is to simply clone it out if you can. So I'm just going to use the healing brush here and just clone that there. So that's gone. There's a bit of a misalignment there. So just using the eraser tool with a reasonably hard edge, I can just get that looking a bit more how it did before. But unfortunately, when you have flare, in your shots it's not always that simple so the smaller elements of flare you can remove in that way but the larger ones become slightly more difficult so what I'm going to do now is just hold down Control, shift alt and E to merge all visible layers to a new layer at the top of the stack so with a Mac that would be command option shift and E and I'm going to use the elliptical marquee tool and then I'm going to draw a marquee a about that size there. And then what I'm gonna do next is just press Q to enter quick mask mode, then Control and T to go into transform, and then I can just rotate this round so that it fits better. So if I just pop that there like that, and then hit enter to commit. So once again, on a Mac, that would be Command and T to enter transform. And then by pressing Q again, that takes me back to my selection where it much better matches the shape of that flare. So I'm just gonna go up to select and add a small amount of feathering. So just a radius of about five pixels just to take away the hard edge. And then the reason we have this pixel layer here is because we are going to content aware fill this area. So we need to have a pixel layer. You can't do that with an empty layer. So to do that, we just need to go to Edit, Fill, make sure that the contents is set to content aware, just leave all the defaults in place and then hit OK. And as you'll see there, we get a really nice result. It is completely seamless. So that's the easy way of removing flare. This section here is a bit more tricky because what we have here is a loss of contrast. We have a green area here in the center, there is a small amount of red on the edge on the right, and then another very small amount of red on the left. So what I'm gonna do here is select the brush tool by pressing B on the keyboard, and holding down shift and the left square bracket key, I'm gonna make sure it's really nice and soft. So I press the left square bracket key several times. If you hold down shift and press the right square bracket key, it gives you a harder edge. So what I'm going to do now with black in the foreground, you can get the palette colors to black and white by pressing D on the keyboard and toggle between the two using X. So I'm going to go into quick mask mode again and I'm going to make this brush slightly smaller and then I'm just going to paint that over the green area. And then by pressing Q again, I can see the selection. So I need to go over a bit more. So just toggling between the two allows you to work out where things are. So this is giving me a really nice feathered edge so that I get a really nice blend. So let's go with this selection here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is improve the contrast in this area. So I'm going to click on levels and just drag the black point over to the right. So I'm going to go for an amount of 12 there. Every image is different, so you can just have a play with that. And now we can really see that green popping out. So now I'm going to hold down the control key and click on the levels one mask. So that's going to reload that selection for me. On a Mac that would be holding down command and clicking on the mask. So now we are going to create a color balance adjustment layer. So you could do this with curves or you can do it with color balance. But the reason I'm doing it with color balance is because we get a very clear indication of what we need to do here, which makes it easier to understand how to make the color corrections necessary to remove this flare. So we have green here. So obviously we're working with the green slider and we're gonna to need to add magenta. I'm going to work on the midtones, but you can target the tonal range accordingly. So now I'm just gonna drag this slider over to the left and what you'll see there is that the whole area, a much larger area, is now looking magenta. So 
So I'm going to close this down, go back to the brush tool and back into quick mask mode and I'm going to make a new slightly larger selection. So I've pushed the green further over towards magenta and now I'm going to pull the magenta back and neutralize it. So let's work with this. I'm going to go back into a new color balance adjustment layer. So here I'm going to add some cyan and a small amount of green. So a bit more cyan, I think. You'll see there that we still have some of that magenta showing through. So I'm going to close this down and I'm going to press X on the keyboard to bring white into the foreground. So now I'm working on the mask and I'm just bringing those colors into those areas. So it is pretty much removed there. If I just group all of these layers, you'll see the huge difference that has made. But what we can do just to finish that off is I'm just going to click back into my group and I'm going to create a hue saturation adjustment layer. And I'm going to go from master to reds and just drop saturation there and then into the magentas and drop that slightly. So that gives us a much better result. And because it's such a small area, as soon as I zoom out to 100%, you can't even see the work that I've done. So there are three different ways that you can remove flare from your landscape shots.